Well, the biggest challenge with all these things is getting a large number of people to agree on a particular course of action. And then the other part of the problem is persuading the people who are stakeholders who have to take action to deploy a protocol to actually do so. The ITF doesn't have a government mandate and doesn't have any authority to, to, to direct anybody to do anything. The internet was originally developed by people working at the ITF, but that doesn't mean that we own it or have control over it. And so the way that we work is much more by persuasion and, well, slow persuasion in some cases. So we have this problem with IPv4. When the internet, basic core protocol of the internet was uh, developed back in the 1980s, uh, they decided to use 32 bits for the address. That gives a, a, a total of about 4 billion possible internet addresses. Which is a problem because the population of the planet is much more than 4 billion. And in fact we've run out of IPv4 addresses last year. So we've been using a series of ad hoc mechanisms, network address translation, etc that allow the internet to keep going. But we've also been developing a better protocol, IPv6, that has an enormous address space. It's so, so large that you can give an, a unique IP address to every grain of sand on the planet. So we know that we're not going to run out of IPv6 addresses, but we've not been able to persuade the market to transition to IPv6. So our big challenge is how do we, you know, developing specifications is easy. The hard part is how do we develop a specification and persuade somebody to deploy it. And for me, that has to start when you design. You have to design for the deployment and look at all the constituencies you're going to need to engage to make it happen in reality, which is what we did with the web. The web didn't, it wasn't the only network, first network hypertext protocol. It wasn't necessarily the best. And I say that as a member of the CERN team that worked on the web. The reason the web succeeded was that we spent a lot of time working at how to deploy it, how to gain endorsements from people who could influence people. And we designed it so that it could be deployed really easily without a lot of technical expertise or knowledge or time.